I want to show you a new tool that we have here at Eagle Creek Springs. This is the Red Dawn. <coughs> Got it in Amazon. Cost about 250 bucks. Kind of pricey. And I got strapped on it. Underneath is a GoPro. A GoPro 4. And I'm going to use this to explore the creek. You can see the river behind me. It's been flowing pretty hard, fast. Just had a record flood two days ago. I'm going to put this in the creek and explore the, the spawning area up above. We put a bunch of, of uh, surplus salmon porpoises in there. And uh, check those out. That's been about seven weeks now. They've been mostly gone. But uh, yeah, look for fry, see if we can find any salmon fry after this big rain or see if they went downstream and look for some spawning salmon. Um, they're starting to come in. We actually have five reds going right now, which is extremely early for our fall run. Um, if you record there, it'd be about a month early. So uh, we'll see what we can find with our... We'll, uh, this is called the uh, Research Vessel Red Dawn. Put the Red Dawn in the water. Have the GoPro strapped on the bottom. Doing a survey of salmon. This thing gets up and goes. And let it, the trick is to just let it drift. Let's see if we can get this dipper bird. There's one female spawning. I got a little bit of footage. She's already done laying her eggs. So this is at the point where I pretty much lost control of the boat. So I was trying to film with one hand and control the boat with the other hand. So I put the camera down and focused on just steering this thing out of trouble. Um, got over here on the end, the other side of the creek, where I was aiming for. There's a little piece of surplus coho salmon there left over. I don't, that's really good that that just deteriorating down after seven weeks. That's really putting a lot of nutrients. About the only way we can get nutrients into the creek because the water's so clear up here and it's such a short ride to the river that we put salmon carcasses in. So anyway, you're looking at the cave area. This is where we're going to be working next summer. We put the uh, rest of our spawning gravel in place right here. Um, it's you see all that bubbles coming up that's a big outlet at the spring system that's in this creek um, there's about 23 openings where it's really an underground river and it just water flows out right here and it's been a really good spot but the salmon over the years have completely washed out the gravel that we had in there so it's time to replenish all of that get those sticks out of the way beaver put in there there's more all that bubble is just is coming right out of the ground and it makes super oxygen saturated water there's that female coho down there um, she's spawned out by now 
You can tell females by their tail. They're all white and more out like. Because they make the red, the nest that they lay their eggs in. It's all done by using the tail. And by now, it's pretty much over for her. She's got another day or two. Um, and she's just guarding her eggs now. Trying to keep anything from eating them. Um, still in pretty good shape. We'll follow her around a little bit. Take a look at the bottom of the creek. Just all that gravel where you're looking at is all brought in by over the years. We've put 140 cubic yards of gravel. That's 14 dump truck loads by hand. Um, mostly by volunteers through the Pacific Coast Salmon Coalition in Forks, Washington. Um, they're our go-to people when we need help. We've had help from the Boy Scout Troop 1539 out of Silverdale, Washington. They've helped in here. As well as the Clearwater Correction Center. Our Clearwater, the Olympic Correction Center. <coughs> Inmates. Just some more gravel shot. We're looking for Fry doing a scientific investigation here. You see the water level is pretty high. It's about six to eight inches higher than normal because of all the water from the flood. She probably couldn't do this in a week. Probably too shallow in here.